Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. If you've seen my recent Best of the Web webinar or my most recent video, you know that I'm a big fan of a new Chrome extension called Moat that was released in early 2021. And now that we're at the end of 2021, I thought I'd put together a video compilation of all of the things that you can do with Moat. So what you're about to see is a compilation of all my Moat tutorials in one place. And as always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel. And now enjoy the compilation. Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna show you an easy way to add voice comments to Google Classroom. Let's go ahead and get started here. I'm in my sample demo class. And you can see in the upper right hand corner here, I have the Moat Chrome extension. In a previous video, I showed you how to install that extension. I have a link for that down below in the description here. So I have my sample announcement. And what I'm going to do is with the Chrome extension called Moat installed, I'll have this little Moat button in my stream when I'm adding comments. So I can just click and record on that. This is my sample class comment that my students can now listen to. Now I'm going to post that. And my students will now see a play button where they can listen. This is my sample class comment. And there it is. Now, I can also use Moat to leave feedback for students on the assignments that they turn in. Go over to your classwork and pick any of your assignments and then jump into one of the ones that your students have turned in. For example here, my student Mason has turned in some more math problems and in the private comments, I again have that click to record Mason, it seems that you have forgotten to actually solve the math problems for your sample math problems. And again, I can post that. And when I post that in the comments, the student will have a little play button to play back and listen to my voice comment. So that's how you can add voice comments into Google classroom. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add voice recordings to your Google Forms questions, answer choices, and the feedback that you provide via Google Forms. We're going to go ahead and get started using a free Chrome extension called Moat which you can find at moat.com. And you can see I already have my demo quiz started with my picture and a question. And with Moat installed, I can just click on record here. And now I can record myself reading this question aloud. What country is the home of Qantas Airlines? And we'll see it includes a little link here to that voice recording. But when someone views the published Google form, they'll just see a play button. Now, I want to do the same thing for these answer choices. So I'm going to write in Australia as an answer choice. I'll write in New Zealand as an answer choice. And I'll write in the United States. So three answer choices. And I want to add a voice recording to each one of these as well. So what I'm going to do here is rather than clicking on this click to record, I'm going to go up to my browser extension, click on that, and then record myself saying Australia. Australia. We'll see our moat was copied to my clipboard and now I'm just going to paste it in. Do the same thing here. 
New Zealand. And let's paste that recording in. And one more time. The United States. And now we'll place that right there. Now, let's go ahead and look at the published version of the form. And we'll see right there, we have play buttons instead of just the link. And, is the home of and so the viewer can hear each one of these and then make their form submission. But what I want to do right now is I want to make sure I'm using this as a quiz. So you can see I have this as a five point question. Let's make it required. And let's go into our answer feedback. So when we do that, let's go to our answer, sorry, our answer key here. There's Australia for our answer key. And let's add our answer feedback. And once again, I can see I have that moat button to so click on that. I'm sorry, New Zealand and the United States are not the home of Qantas Airlines. And so I have that recording right there and correct answers. I'll just record myself saying, good job. Great job, Qantas is based in Australia. We'll save that. And now let's look at the form one more time. Let's look at the published form. We can see there's our demo quiz. We can play this back. What country is the home of Qantas Airlines? Let's answer it. Hit submit. View it. And we can see our feedback right there as a play button. Great job. Qantas is based in Australia. And so we have feedback in audio form as well. So that's using the Moat Chrome extension to add voice recordings to your Google Forms questions, answer choices, and feedback. You can get it at moat.com. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can embed an audio recording directly into your Google Documents by using one of my favorite Chrome extensions, Moat, which you can find at moat.com. And here's how it works. You can see here, I have my sample document already opened up and I'm just going to highlight some text on the page. And I'm now going to just click on record moat, M-O-T-E, moat.com is the extension. And I'm just going to click on that, click to record. This is a demonstration of including audio files in your Google Documents. We'll see there that it's now recorded and I'm going to insert it into the document. It appears as a hyperlink, but when I just click on it, you'll see there's a play button right in there. This is a demonstration of, and so we can play the recording right inside the document itself. Now, of course, you can still use moat.com to simply add comments to your documents by clicking the comment box and then recording your moat. Hey, look at this. I've just recorded an audio comment for students to listen to. And then we comment and we have that play button right there in the comments as well. Now I should point out that if your students do not have the Moat Chrome extension installed, they won't see a play button, they'll see a link to play the audio instead of having a play button. But if they have the Chrome extension installed, they'll have a play button. So that's the latest version, the latest cool feature in Moat, which you can find at moat.com.
As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you what's probably the easiest way to add narration to your Google Slides. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I have a couple of sample slides that I'm going to add some narration to. Now, one way you could do this is to record a separate voice file and then upload it to your Google Drive and then insert it into your slides. And that works, but it does take a while. An easier way is to use this little tool that you see on my screen called Moat, M-O-T-E. It's a Chrome extension. When I click it, I can record and have my recording added automatically to my Google Slide. So let's give it a try. This is a picture of me in front of a partly frozen lake in Jasper National Park in Canada. And so we'll see it's now ready. I can play it back. This is a picture of me in front of a partly frozen lake now, I'll insert that recording. You'll see it's automatically saved to your Google Drive. You can click and drag and reposition that on your slide, that little play icon. You can have it play automatically when you start to present those slides. You can hide the icon when presenting. You can even have that audio loop. Now, let's go to my next slide. And let's do the same thing. Let's record my audio. This is a picture of me in front of Dakota Thunder, the world's largest buffalo. It's a statue that you can find in Jamestown, North Dakota. And so again, we can play that back. If we didn't like the recording, we can just trash it. In this case, though, I'm going to save it. And it's going to, again, insert directly into my Google Slide. I can click and drag to reposition it on the slide where I want that play icon to appear. But I'm going to have it automatically play. And I'm going to hide that icon when I'm presenting. And you can see here, I can adjust the volume for when I'm presenting as well. In fact, I should probably do that on the previous slide. And so let's go back in and adjust those settings as well. And we're going to adjust that playback volume. Now let's take a look at the slides. This is a picture of me in front of a partly frozen lake in Jasper National Park in Canada. This is a picture of me in front of Dakota Thunder. And so you can see my audio played back automatically when I presented those slides. So that's the easiest way that you can add narration to your Google Slides. I've tried a lot of different tools for doing this, and Moat is by far the easiest tool for adding narration to your Google Slides. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you a neat new feature from Moat for recording your voice and sharing it via QR code. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, Moat is a service I've been using all year to add voice comments to Google Docs and to Google Forms. I have videos about how to do that linked up down below. But let's check out the new QR code option. So I have the Moat Chrome extension installed here. I'm just going to click on it, and then I'm going to click Record a Moat Voice Note. And I'll do my sample recording right now. This is my sample Moat. In this Moat, I can talk for up to 90 seconds. I'll talk about anything. In fact, maybe I'll talk about this book I'm reading right now called The Way of a Ship. The Way of a Ship is a story about sailing at the end of the 19th century on a commercial four-mast sailing ship. Really interesting story about sailing life at the end of the 19th century. 
So now I just click done. We'll see my note, my voice note with moat right here. Let's click on that little upload icon. And now we get a QR code that we can distribute anywhere we want. Just save that image. You'll have a QR code that you can open up and print out. And you can put that QR code on your wall in your classroom or include it in a document or anywhere else you might want to use a QR code for your students to be able to scan it with their phones and hear your voice note played back to them. So that's a short overview of how you can create a voice note with Moat and distribute it via QR code. As always, more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I wanna show you an easy way to send voice notes and voice comments through Gmail using Moat. It's a Chrome extension called Moat, and once you have it installed, you'll see it appear as a little button in your Gmail. So let's say I'm gonna send an email to my buddy Mason. So I'll send it to Mason. There we go. And we'll say, hey Mason, listen to this one. And say, you won't believe this. Click to listen to this recording. Now I'm going to just click on Moat and it's recording me. I'll say, hey Mason, you're not gonna believe it, but this morning the power went out at my house and no sooner had I gotten the generator started and running, but the power came back on. Then I can click to stop the recording and it inserts that moat note right inside my Gmail. Now I'm gonna send this off and we'll take a look at how Mason receives this note and how he can listen to it. So let's go ahead and hit that send button. Then we're gonna take a look at Mason's inbox. So here's Mason's inbox. He's received this message. You won't believe this. Click to listen to this recording. And so he just clicks on that and it takes him right to this page where he can now listen to the recording. And it's recording me. I'll say, hey, Mason, you're not going to believe it, but this morning, the so that's Moat. You'll find it at justmoat.me. It's a handy little tool for sending voice notes through Gmail. And if you didn't see my previous video about Just Moat, you can also use it for voice commenting on Google Classroom, Google Docs, and Google Slides presentations. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or check out practicaledtech.com.